Who would poach a turtle? Of course, I refer to the type of poaching dealing with the indiscriminate harvest and selling of turtles. It's a huge problem in any area where they grow in both the U.S. and Canada. The international pet trade, especially in China, will snap up turtles as fast as poachers can deliver them for ridiculous prices in the thousands of dollars per turtle for the right rare species. There have been several major turtle poaching rings taken down recently in Florida, South Carolina, and Oklahoma. The Oklahoma case is a great example of a concerned citizen taking the time to report the crime, keen investigating officers, interagency cooperation, and smart prosecutors, all combining for a successfully prosecuted case. The poacher wins if any link in the chain is weak. The following case involved the collection and sale of ornate box turtles and three-toed box turtles. Box turtles can live up to 100 years. They are an important part of any ecosystem where they live. Some eat carrion, fish, snakes, and worms. They often consume fruit and pass the undigested seeds as they move to new areas, sort of a slow-moving seed spreader. This case started in a motel in Manford, Oklahoma, where a group from Arkansas had been staying for a few days. The cleaning woman became suspicious when the occupants kept declining to have the room cleaned. On the third day, she peeked through the open door and noticed a number of large, clear plastic tubs with live turtles inside them. She reported her findings to the local police station. They, in turn, called Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation Officer Carlin Bailey. Carlin called a senior officer in Tulsa, Carlos Gomez, and his supervisor. Unbeknownst to the officers, the USFWS had been working on a major turtle poaching case. They had identified a key player of an international ring in New Jersey, but had been unable to get a solid lead to pursue the investigation further until this case. The three devised a plan to surreptitiously watch the motel to gather more information on the five guests in the two rooms of interest. Things moved rather slowly, as one might expect in a turtle investigation, but eventually they were able to approach the two rooms simultaneously and start their investigation. 